lecture number 57 on irrigation and drainage uh, uh, lecture series. So, in this lecture, we are going to focus mostly on a uh, drainage model, uh, it is called end drain. So, so what do why do we need a drainage model in this case? Because uh, you have Hugout equation, right, uh, for both steady state and also we have seen uh, on steady state uh, equations for uh, finding out the drain space as well as uh, to track the hydraulic head along the uh, the uh, I mean uh, pressure line. So here we exactly need uh, the drainage model just to estimate the drain spacing okay and uh, so because this is a challenging task for many drainage designs. So challenging task in the sense suppose if you leave uh, if you plan wider drain spacing so the system is not able to you know take out water enough water so then the water table will be uh, staying close to the ground uh, whereas if you have uh, you know drain space closer so it involves a lot of cost okay so so we need to uh, really optimize these uh, you know drain spacing and at the same time we need to understand how uh, the soil properties are influencing the hydraulic head okay so these things uh, can be visualized uh, using uh, mathematical models so end drain uh, is uh, developed uh, basically to understand the hydraulic head as well as uh, I mean the behavior of hydraulic head uh, with different uh, 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 magnitude of inputs and then uh, uh, so th the good thing is it contains both uh, uh, Darcy uh, kind of equation as well as energy balance equation which is developed by Osterbein, uh, is a professor Osterbein in Netherlands. So here uh, the optimal drain spacing can be estimated with the help of models. So the basically the models uh, will uh, simulate or calculate up to mid midpoint water table height. The computer models are available already to estimate the optimal spacing and uh, equivalent depth uh, for installation of artificial drainage systems. So uh, this is very important. Uh, the model is very important uh, to understand the behavior of uh, the soil. Uh, when the drainage system is installed, uh, whether we will be able to extract uh, uh, the excess water from the, the surface as well as subsurface and, and also we can uh, visualize the cost uh, whether uh, I mean based on the drain spacing and uh, all the dynamic we can visualize the cost whether it is beneficial for uh, 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 going for such a uh, huge investment. So here, so end drain. This is the model which is developed by Professor uh, Osterbein. Uh, so it is in Netherlands in 1994. So this is uh, deduced from energy balance groundwater flow. So using the energy balance uh, equations, so they have developed this uh, uh, model. So and also this model contains uh, Darcy's, uh, you know that is a Hugout equation what you said. So it computes the uh, drain spacing, uh, shape of water table okay, and drainage discharge and head losses. Okay. So all these things uh, can be you know obtained in a, a sing single model this is the end drain and this is freely available uh, you can uh, download this model at this uh, address. Okay. So, uh, the first window it looks like this. So it contains uh, five, you know, input sheets or uh, tab sheets we can say. So one is intro, figure, input, output, and graphics. So these four, uh, five tab sheets, and uh, you can clearly see a picture here. So it contains, you know, the both tile drain as well as the uh, open ditch, open ditch and tile drain. And there are several parameters, uh, uh, you know, mentioned. So R for recharge, you know, D W for this is the drain base width, and or base depth, or D one. 
so it, it has two layers uh, salt system this is uh, uh, layer 1 uh, this is the layer 1 and layer 2 okay so for these two layers you have d1 is the distance from the surface to the layer 1 soil layer 1 and d2 is the distance from the surface to uh, layer number 2 okay and so these are the hydraulic conductivity of uh, layer number 2 this is vertical hydraulic conductivity kb2 and kb2 is uh, horizontal hydraulic conductivity so similarly for layer uh, 1 and ka is the hydraulic conductivity just above the uh, base width of the drains and uh, dm is the uh, the water table uh, uh, depth below the soil exactly at the midpoint between the two drains okay and then of course db is the depth to the uh, the bottom of the drain okay so and w is the water width uh, which is present in the drainage so similarly here width of the the channel you can say here okay so uh, like that so s is the spacing between the two drains uh, S uh, by 2 is the half way, I mean half spacing between the two drains. Okay. So, in this picture itself, you can visualize two kinds of uh, uh, drainage system. One is open ditch system and uh, pipe drainage system. Just for schematic purpose, it is not exactly you need to design both tile and uh, open ditch system together. Okay. So, uh, I mean based on your choice, if you want to uh, determine the drain spacing or if you want to determine the shape of water table or if you want to determine the drainage discharge or head losses. Okay. So, all these things, uh, I mean you have uh, options. So, based on a particular option, the input levels will vary. Okay. We are going to see uh, those, I mean one by one. So, end drain. So, the basically it is applied uh, for reclamation that means uh, remediation, rehabilitation and restoration of saline soils and uh, traditional concepts based on Darcy and water balance or mass conservation equations are also considered along with the energy balance equation. So, basically uh, the energy balance uh, equation based on energy balance equation. So, this model was developed, but in addition to energy balance there is a Darcy and water balance, I mean Darcy water balance or mass conservation equations are also included. So, energy balance is not covered in this, but you can uh, uh, go through the literature I am going to uh, show you in the end of the lecture. So, you can understand that easily. And allows uh, for the presence of three soil layers okay, with different hydraulic conductivity and permeability that we have seen the hydraulic conductivity and uh, permeability of different layers in the previous slide. So, you can give different uh, numbers and uh, that will calculate the drain spacing and other options you choose. So, the last two layers can also have different horizontal and vertical hydraulic conductivities I have shown that. Assumptions in energy balance, uh, this is a steady state fluxes and no water and associated energy is stored, okay. a vertically two dimensional flow this one the flow pattern repeats itself in a parallel vertical planes. Okay. Horizontal components of the flow is constant in a vertical cross section. So, uh, every time so the horizontal uh, I mean flow is assumed to be constant. So, the flow is constant. So, and soil's hydraulic conductivity is constant for place to place. So, for a particular layer, so the soil hydraulic conductivity uh, seems to be constant. And then the input, uh, these are the input values, uh, I mean the terminologies I already explained. Uh, for example, R is the time average recharge or discharge meter per day, and uh, D1 is the bottom depth of first layer. So, this is the layer number 1 and layer number 2, and D2 is the uh, bottom depth of uh, second layer, and DW that is uh, uh, this is the DW, okay. so which is the depth of water table to drain below the soil, a DB depth of drain uh, bottom, so this is the bottom of the drain and W is the maximum width of flow water body and K a hydraulic permeability 
of the above drain level and K B 1, B 1, uh, K B 2, K B 2 all the hydraulic conductivities of first and second layers and D M is the depth of water table midway between the drain. So, so these are the inputs, max inputs you have to provide in, in, in drain and it will calculate the drain spacing or uh, hydraulic heads or discharge and other parameters. Okay, so uh, the she tab sheet, uh, I already told there are five tab sheets, the intro, figure, input and output and graphics. So, this is already, I mean here, right. So, let us let's see one by one uh, what it tells. So, for example, intro sheet. So, if you click on intro sheet, so it will show you this window, okay, this is the window. So, it is a brief introduction to the uh, NRAN program uh, about the reference uh, where you can get the articles related to NRAN and the, the reference for you know finding out the uh, article based on which it is developed. Okay. And uh, th this is the uh, you know web address where you can go to download the NRAN program. So, this link to various uh, related help material for reference purposes. So, if you open it, uh, I mean uh, these references, you will be uh, you know knowing more about the energy balance uh, and also end drain and the related articles. Okay. And then the next tab is the figure sheet. So, figure sheet is familiar already. Uh, so, it tells the uh, different parameters we need to uh, give as input, right. So, it contains uh, both pipe and uh, open drain system and it explains the symbols. And the third is the input. So, the input uh, sheet, it has a different variables and drain parameters with units. So, look at this here file 1, title 1, title 2, options, method. Okay. So, here if you can uh, save this file or you can open input file. So, there is the open input file. If you have already uh, a file already there existing in, in the folder, so then you can click on this and select a particular input file. Then it will give the file title, you know title 2 or title 1 is hydraulic head, title 2 data from example in text and options you can choose what to be calculated like calculate the depth of water table or calculate the spacing or calculate the hydraulic heads all these things and method. So, are you going to use the energy balance method or Darcy's equation Hugo out method all these things and then inputs with uh, so R D 1 D 2 whatever uh, it is shown in the figure. So, you can give the inputs here. Okay. So, here the uh, drain spacing is uh, need to be give, uh, given as input because you are calculating the depth of water table here. Okay. So, then the fourth tab sheet is output. So, output contains here look at this a figure shows. So, this is the output window. So, it contains the x. So, that were, what is the that is the distance from the drain to mid bay. Okay. So, if this is the uh, drain point. I mean tail end point towards the midway. Okay, so this is the distance x, and then uh, uh, the sequence f star. F star is the hydraulic head in case of Darcy's, right? Darcy's hydraulic head, and then p is the small increment. So because this is the model in numerical technique or numerical model, you have to give each and every increment. Okay, so the increment will be here. Uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, point, uh, and uh, this is 1.5, and again 1.5. So it's it's getting you know accumulating here. And G star by P gradient of uh, F. Okay. Uh, so where G star, uh, G star, uh, see F star is hydraulic head. So F is hydraulic head energy balance. Okay. So here. F star is uh, hydraulic head in Darcy's and F is hydraulic head in energy balance. Okay. And G star P 
p is the gradient in case of Darcy's. So, gradient in the sense, so knowing the hydraulic, you know, the knowing the distance x and the distance uh, this one, okay, uh, hydraulic head, and you can calculate the the gradient. Okay, this is the hydraulic head, and you can calculate the gradient. Okay, so similarly, g by p energy uh, gradient of f. In case of uh, energy, energy equation, if you are using energy balance equation, T1 is energy loss and correction for energy input. So, these all related to energy balance model. Okay. So, like that, you can get both energy, energy balance uh, model as well as uh, Darcy based uh, uh, solutions in this. Okay. So, in addition to these simulations, so there is a uh, overall, you know, results like midway hyd hydraulic head, that is, uh, you know, 0 0.757 uh, meter, and midway hydraulic head, Darcy's case, 0 0.976, and midway water table depth, uh, so that is 0 0.743 in case of energy, and midway water table depth in case of Darcy, that is a 0 0.524. Okay, so there is. So, you get the results in both energy balance as well as hydraulic uh, sorry uh, Darcy based equations. Okay, so, for calculating the drain spacing here, so similar procedure you have to use and you have to choose an option related to drain spacing. So, in this case when you run the model, so the end drain suggests a drain spacing of 26.83. So, here it will give like 26.83 because the simulation starts from here and ends up here that is 13.42 uh, since it is a midway and if you can multiply with 2 this will give the uh, I mean drain spacing okay the whole drain space between the two drains so uh, this is uh, Darcy's hydraulic head and uh, Darcy's water table midway so it's 0.5. So like that, energy and energy base. Okay. So in this way, you can calculate the midway hydraulic head uh, uh, depth and hydraulic head. And also you can visualize this the whole output in the graphical form. Here the curve of the water table. So for it will give. So on x-axis, it will give the distance from the drain. So here there is a uh, drain and this is the midway that is s by 2 okay and then the the circles re represent the energy balance model whereas the cross represents the darcy's equation okay so they are close uh, initially but if you uh, see at the midway in both cases, they are going, you know, all parallel. Okay, they are, they are all going parallel. So, and for example, here uh, there is the input data, which is available. Uh, there is a tile drain of five centimeter diameter, LUV soil. So, so they used end drain model to. Uh, get the water table, uh, you know, depths, as well as to track the hydraulic heads. Okay, so here R, uh, D1, D2, DW, uh, DB, and all values are given here, and uh, the water table depth midway between uh, drains, so that is 0 0.8 uh, meter. This is this is for a particular crop. It, you have to maintain this 80 centimeter below the ground the water table should be below 80 centimeters from the ground surface so in this case once you run the model with the, this input so this will uh, give so as i said this is the distance from the drain and f star is hydraulic head in case of darcy's right and this is a gradient uh, hydraulic head in case of uh, energy balance equation and gradient in case of uh, energy balance equation and T1, T2 also re refers to energy balance equation. So, drain spacing here 2.49 uh, uh, because uh, 
So, it is stopping at 1.24 meter that is halfway if you multiply with 2 you get drain spacing 2.49 meter and midway hydraulic head is 0 0.742 which is close to 0 0.8 and midway hydraulic in case of Darcy's they are close anyway and midway water table depth uh, is 0 0.8 and water table depth in case of Darcy this is 0 0.68. So, uh, the energy balance I mean midway water table depth this is what we are expecting because that is 0 0.8 and uh, the midway water table depth in case of Darcy's is uh, uh, you know it is a less than what we expect. Okay. So, this is uh, uh, I mean the star Darcy's equation uh, whereas uh, this is energy balance. So, this is only showing the energy balance equation in case. Okay. So, this way you can get the uh, drainage you know information design information like uh, drain spacing, uh, drain discharge and uh, hydraulic heads okay, and water table depths and all things. So, you can go through this reference uh, to know more about the energy balance uh, equation this is uh, Osterban and uh, Bonstraw and uh, K V G K Rao 1996. So, this is energy balance of ground water flow. So, this is uh, published in surface water hydrology okay, in the proceedings uh, it is uh, public publishers are uh, clover academic publishers. So, you can uh, go through this paper to understand the energy balance equation. So, the last example was taken from uh, this reference uh, calculation of uh, distance between drains using end end program. Okay, this also uh, you can find you can google it you can get the paper and end drain is available for free you can download it and use it for research purpose. Okay, so, with this some uh, I mean let us work on running the model. So, I have the model which is uh, I will show you the model here. So, this is the end drain once you get the model uh, it will ask us to extract the whole uh, you know the model. Then once you extract it, it will have two files end drain this is the executable file and data where you get all the data files input data files. Okay. So, then click on uh, end drain application file and run it. So, then you will you will get the yeah. So, so again I will go through it. Okay. So, here uh, there is a end drain. Okay, so, the two uh, files end drain is application file and data it is a data file where you can see there is a lot of you know input data. So, click on end drain and it will ask us to run. So, run it and you get the first window which uh, starts with intro that is introduction. So, this first uh, tab sheet uh, introduction to the end drain W program. Okay. So, end drain program uh, calculates the discharge hydraulic head or spacing between the parallel surface drains. It could be pipe drains or open ditches with or without entrance resistances. Okay, so, this is information and uh, you can also go through the other links. So, that you get the articles program and all uh, rele relevant information. So, then the next is the figure. So, here if you see the figure, figure contains uh, both trial drains and open ditch here and all the information related to inference like terminologies we use uh, for input purpose. So, D 1, D w all already explained. So, then input here. So, we click uh, tab sheet input. So, here if you see help figure uh, save uh, and open input. Okay. So, uh, I am going to get uh, the input file which is already available in the data folder. Okay. So, look at the data folder. So, if I click open input so and data folder, so I will uh, go for example, right? I am going for example which open. Okay. 
So, it will show the file where I extracted uh, where I uh, linked the data file and the title hydraulic head and the data from example in the text. So, this is already available in the textbook right and options calculate the depth of the water table. So, this is what we need to calculate and there are other options also available drain spacing to be calculated, drain discharge is to be calculated and uh, calculate the depth of the uh, water table, calculate the hydraulic conductivity. So, there are four options are available, uh, you can choose any one of them, so, but in this example calculate the uh, depth of the water table. And here the methods, there are two methods, right, one is use the new energy balance method and use the classical Darcy method, okay. Uh, so, let us use the new energy balance method and then the input values are given R, D1, D2, DW all are given here and if you want to change you can change it, update it and uh, since it is not for you know estimating the uh, distance between the two drains, so you have to give the uh, distance between the two drains 65 because option is to calculate the depth of the water table. So, now next once you get the uh, water table done, I mean uh, input data, then save and run. So, save uh, since uh, let, let us save it back to example, right, save and the file already exists overwrite, okay, no problem, yes. And then uh, in, input data was saved, now it is going to, you know, run, it is running right now, okay. The calculations were made and the output is found. So, output also found. So, now this is output tab. So, output has see uh, this is it will give the input data right from here to here this is all input data and then this is the output. So, in this output you can see uh, 0 0.10 to 32.50. So, this is midway between the two drains and uh, this is F star is uh, Darcy's uh, you know hydraulic head and this is hydraulic gradient and F is the uh, hydraulic head due to uh, energy balance equation and uh, capital G by P is the hydraulic gradient due to energy balance equation, these are the errors or something like that. And the midway hydraulic head is 0.758 the midway hydraulic head Darcy's case 0 0.97, okay. So, there is a difference, right, there is a difference. You can also check with the input, uh, the spacing between the drain 65, 32.5, okay. So, here uh, 32.5 is good and uh, this is what we, what we, what we, uh, I mean calculated this hydraulic heads and uh, uh, water tables, okay. And if you want to see the graph, you can see the graph here or figure, you can go and check the figure, the input values, okay. Or you can see the graph, you can also uh, see both energy balance and Darcy's equation uh, from distance from the drain here and this is the, uh, you know, hydraulic head, okay, on y axis. And you can save the graph, you can also save the graph here, data and give uh, you know the example right example outs uh, example graph something like that okay save it is going to save an example here the graph and back to output okay or you can go to input back and here let's change the options here so let's change the calculate the uh, you know spacing between the drains so, here depth uh, the spacing between the drains you need not give now because we have to find out. Now, again uh, save and run, let us say example uh, spacing right save, yes, now let us go to calculate, okay. Now, check, so this is the input we gave, right and then look at this spacing. So, halfway 50.90 and the drain spacing uh, is 101.8, which is a double, okay. And midway hydraulic head is 
midway hydraulic at Darcy's case 1.9 and the midway water table depth is 0 or it is very close to okay, very close to surface. Okay. So, this is you can you can see see this is all based on your input value okay, based on that you can understand now whether the drainage system is efficient or not because it is it is not at all taking the water because the spacing is too long or a large you know 101 meter. So, that is the reason water table is not depleting in the midway. So, this is very useful you know uh, a tool to understand the drainage uh, you know discharges to calculate the drain spacing between the uh, two drains it could be both tile drain as well as open ditch system and also to understand the hydraulic heads right. So, yeah, please go through the uh, program and install it right and uh, you can give the uh, inputs randomly or there is a uh, you know real life problem then you can design a drainage system ok. So, I think that is all uh, thank you so much.